Hey everyone, my name's Danny. I'm from New York. I spend most of my time outdoors going on hikes. It gives me something to do, it keeps me healthy. Sometimes there's an opportunity for a spectacular photograph and I'll always take it when I have the chance. It keeps my mind at peace, connects me with nature. Well, oftentimes I leave hikes feeling much more relaxed than when I had first gotten there. I think a lot of that has to do with me letting my energy flow out of myself into the mountains, into my environment. Being able to conquer something feels great at the end of the day. I knew at a young age that photography was going to be one of my main focuses, but I had not known that wildlife photography was going to be the focus until my college years. For most of my life, a lot of my time spent outside was just a hobby. It wasn't until I started to document my activities outside where I realized that that was going to be my focus. From time to time, when I can't find something to photograph, I'll usually spend my time documenting whatever hobby it was I found to do that day. For instance, sometimes that's me when I'm just kicking the soccer ball around trying to have a good time, or when I take my bike out for a cruise. Sometimes that's even going on a ski trip. Throughout my childhood, I spent most of my time outdoors, engaging in activities with friends like making tree houses, exploring the woods, playing games where we had to chase and find each other and where we're hiding. Those were the real memories. That was what was important to me. And that is what stuck with me and followed me to the future where I am today. I have this one memory that goes way back to when my father gave me a pair of binoculars and he said, here, you can use these while you're outside. And I took them everywhere. I was always looking through them, seeing what animals I could see out in the distance. Fortunately enough, uh, behind my house was woods and uh, these very tracks, which gave me great opportunity to come out here and explore and look for wildlife. While growing up, I had a ton of different pets. I had hermit crabs, I had fish, I had a lizard for a little while. I had a guinea pig too. Um, we actually caught him out here and we saved him. My family and I took care of him for eight or nine years. So there's someone I'd like you to meet. That's right, I got a panda of my own, and his name's Jeff. He's not quite the real thing, but uh, I named him Jeff after the famous Instagram panda seen in the pictures. Maybe I'll be lucky enough to meet Jeff one day. Nowadays, I spend most of my time outdoors, or at least I try to. Recently, it's become more difficult to get outside and travel due to financial resources, education, and employment. Of all these different things I do, and I'm always so caught up in trying new things, motorcycling, skiing, biking. Traveling to a new country to learn a new culture and become a part of that and being able to take care of pandas might be the most important thing that I do. I know that deep down, this experience would change my life. Being able to take care of the pandas, learn a new culture and be a part of something new would mean the world to me. I hope you choose me because I'm not too sure of myself and I think most people are a little too sure of themselves and they know exactly what they want to do. To be honest, I still don't know what I want to do. That's why I'm trying to get out and travel and have new experiences. I like to keep adding stories to my story to further my career and to be a better photographer.